if you push against them in a certain way, then you're going to get the blinking light. Right. Like that. This is what we mean when we say concentrated pressure. That's it. That is what the claws are activating for you. Wait. One quick question. Yeah. How are you concentrating the pressure with putting? Against the you're size of the, the handles. Okay. Cause them to go weaker grip. Then they have to bow. And then now to create the same effect. That's right. Well, what, is what, is what is it? What is it? What is it? It's more body rotation. That's right. And, and then like, it's no. like, what are you doing? Well, okay. I think there's a better way for people to understand the baby bird analogy. Is cloth. <laughs> that the golf swing is 90% hands and arms. It used to be, like back in the 20s and 30s with Harry Varden and Henry Cotton and all these guys, they were saying that it was 90% hands and arms. Where did that get lost? Like why, why did we lose that? Well, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Cause and Effect podcast where we introduce the cause and effect relationships that exist in golf in relation to the hand to handle to club relationships. Episode 25, we got our compact clubs here. These are launching on Valentine's Day. You've heard us talk about that in a lot of the other episodes. Um, we're super excited. I've been using this a ton. It's been helping me a lot. It's just, I don't know, it's easy. It's like, like I More said last awareness. yeah, like, like I said last episode, it's like a little remote. I just grab it when I'm like sitting watching TV or sitting on my computer. Um, it's just very um, convenient, I guess we can say, yeah. um, which is nice. Um, you don't have to have like a big heavy club accidentally hit your computer. Like exactly. it's just yeah. right here. It's right here. Just, right here. <laughs> just in your pocket. <laughs> right. So, uh, so yeah, these are, we're excited for these. Um, and yeah, as you've seen, if you've been watching any of our social media, this is going to give you access to Jonathan and I, um, on a little bit of a deeper level that nobody's really gotten before where, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get a little less than a month. Uh, you're going to get access to like a private, um, server that allows you to communicate with us. Any questions you have, you've been kind of trialing everything. You've been watching our content. So you don't really know, like you need some guidance. Like, am I doing this right? So having right. us at your disposal, um, is going to be a huge, huge benefit. Very so, necessary. <laughs> um, yes. And you're also going to get a set of archive videos that is going to be the claw code, uh, which is going to be a set of, um, archive videos that really just mm -hmm. walk you through how to get the proper hand to handle to club relationship. And, um, we're going to do that with the GoPro and it's gonna be really sweet. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to just give you a useful tool that will really, really help you a ton. Um, and limited quantities available. We're going to keep launching more as we go. Um, but yeah, we didn't want to have too many right off the bat and then we have to give all these lessons. <laughs> it's like, yeah, right, I right. can't keep up. <laughs> so, well, it just makes uh, a lot of sense. So we're excited yeah, to launch this because yes. it's our first thing. And you know, yeah. a lot of people are like, maybe it's like, Oh, it kind of like, maybe it's not going to work for me or like, it doesn't make sense. But it will. truly like having a short club like this, it's actually like a real grip simulates a club head yes. right properly. The mm -hmm. weight of it is actually very Pretty similar heavy. to the weight of a club. Yeah. And from there, it's like just understanding the like, functional unit yes which the is the claws theme of to today. the arms <laughs> to that connection to the club and the knuckle pad pressures yes like knuckle Concentrated pads and palm pressure. pads so that's the i key. think the quickest way let's just jump right into let's it let's do it um jump right let's in. understand water's, water's when we talk warm. about palm pads it's just like the seam here like from the chunky part of your like your thumb you see like this palm uh -huh. and you have like the under part of the palm so it's like just this palm pad okay that's what we're pushing against and you have knuckle pads this formation right here. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So if we have a strong grip, we're trying to get these knuckle pads turned over on the top side of the club Got like this. It. Okay. But what we're trying to do though, is we're trying to get the fingers and the pinch <laughs> in a formation to get on the 45 the best. So which grip makes the most sense? The strong, because we <laughs> would be here. Sport. Neutral would be here. Yes. Strong would be here. Right. So look at look look where the fingers are going to naturally want to go. Like right. that. They're already we talk like about pointing on, that just way. under trail shoulder. Okay, here we go. So we get that down now. So again, knuckle pad placement here. So I'm going to hold the club. I'm going to hold it just with my pinch. By the way, look at that. Nice. Um, and Love then it. trail hand. If I go from the straight up for like the you know we start off with the palm to palm. We're going to go fingers back. If I get like 45 degrees of rotation and then a full like extension back my trail wrist, bring that on trail palm, lead thumb, mm. and then clamp. So like this, it's like trail hand knuckle pads properly against the lead hand. So you're and pushing against, against, the, against, like, you're pushing against the, club. the side a lot. So it's like trail side of the club. So you have your index finger and you have your middle finger uh -huh. and they're against the side of the handle. Mm. But when you look at the bottom two fingers, ring finger and pinky, they're actually against like the lead 
thumb knuckle. Mm. Like, and it goes all the way up against like that lead thumb. So, so it's that, like, so that's that how placement you're... right there. It's like when Got you it. see the, the pawing, like, you know, <laughs> the pattern cat, that we the see with the pros the, and yeah. you see this regrip, <clears throat> they're actually like getting that proper placement of that trail hand, like all this, con this connection area. Got basically. it. Got it. And that's it. And then once you get it, then final, just get that little pinch at the end with the trail hook and the trail pinch, and then there we go. So this is what we mean when we say concentrated pressure. That's it. That is what the claws are activating for you, is it's the ability for you to concentrate how you're taking all those pressures from index to middle to ring to pinky and applying them to the handle and to the hands to mm -hmm. create what we call the functional unit. And that's the whole secret. Like, every good player has a semi-functional unit right like if we had like a grading system we figured this out earlier which i think is like really yeah, yeah. really good for sure um is that if you're measuring like how well your arms are extended away from your body how well you're pushing against the handle with those knuckle pads how well your trail palm was connected your lead thumb knuckle and we like grade that and like dimples holds up like a little like grading card that's right it's like some tour players they're not all 100%, but they're doing a lot of things really, really good, and they're the closest to being, like, the best um, in terms of, like, the highest grades. <laughs> right. They're, like, nobody's failing that's a tour player. Of course. You'll never see a good player with a bad grip, and you'll never see a bad player with a good grip. Right. So what the claws are unlocking for everybody mm -hmm. is it's unlocking the ability for you to create the best functional unit possible. And really, the big key with the claws and... We talk about this all the time. So if you go palm to palm, fingers extended out away, just like this, and then get your pinches. Really, the whole idea from here is that you're trying to get your palms to extend out away from your body as much as possible as your fingers flex back towards your body as much as possible. Now from there, if you just position your hands on the side of the handle properly, like, like Jonathan's saying, now you can just take those pressures and just go boom and push them into each other properly and into the handle. Now you have your functional unit. Now just increase those pressures, push against the handle a certain way in the backswing, right? But that is the key to the claws. And that's what our archive videos are all gonna like walk you through. So um, yeah, better make sure you have one of these. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean though? Like all of our, the, when we see people come in for like golf lessons mm -hmm. and like the biggest things that they're messing up is that they have like the opposite of what we're what, saying. What like, I just did. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying they didn't, they're not doing it. They're not. Their palms are flexed away and their fingers are close to their body. They're at the opposite. We're saying palms away, fingers close, flexed back. Mm -hmm. They're like this. And then they have their lobster claw and they're or grabbing even, it like this. Even if they have yeah. like decent like extension lead wrist, even sometimes yeah. still like the pinch in the, in the lead hand. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. is like the, the secret thing. Yeah. I mean, we were looking at Kyle Berkshire, Ugh. and he has the best lead the hand best. pinch, like perfect, like just clamped down. It's like probably a three knuckle, four knuckle, like it's lead strong. hand over. Like it's it's strong. It's, it's strong. Yeah, but but it, you see a perfect V though, yeah. and it's like he really keeps that pinch. And you almost see when you look at his trail hand, it's almost underneath so much you can. He actually exposes some of the top part of his lead thumb <laughs> because he's, he's underneath so, so much because he's ready to drive the club on that 45. Right. And honestly... On the from, sideways angle. That's yeah, right. That's yeah, right. So right. it's like set ourselves up to apply the proper pressure on the 45. And if you can then first start off with that and golf, that's the first key. That's start really... Start there. Again, we're, it's what we're about. Yes. Is it's not about like just learning how to just go out and hit 270. It's like, okay, no. you can still do that with what we're doing. Yeah. But like, it's more about understanding like the it's like the baby steps to like yes. link up right it's like and if you can get out and just get the basic baby steps you can be shooting you know in the 80s and so you know, I, I posted on our instagram stories i said um look how good his pinches were and a lot of people like messaged me they're like what are pinches and it was just like man what a fail we're doing in the industry that people don't know what the pinches are because they are one of the most important things in golf can we just talk about those a little bit sure. more like why they're so important what are they like unlocking like the, the they're pinches, such a big part of what we talk about pinches basically create the notch okay and the notch is between the knuckle of the thumb to the uh knuckle of the index finger okay that's and what's it. the importance of that like so why? that is the holster for Got the club it. there we and, go and think of it this way it's like a um like a almost like a fulcrum mechanism with how that works so if you got pinches and let's just say this if you get a shorter, like a shorter lead thumb, which we like, and you get a good pinch, <laughs> and you get one of your fingers like this, yeah, and you lever that back, 
you feel like you're really <sighs> gripping that club and you got a lot of leverage with the like the wrist itself look how torqued the lead thumb is right now but it doesn't cause a lot of no, like effort no. it, it's totally effortless yeah like this is getting the club to do the most amount of work in your body exactly the least. now well, well here's how we do that is then we maintain that keep it parallel push back down till the inside of the lead leg and then we let the gear effect take over from there. And you're so conscious so we keep of that the lead thumb. We keep the proper pinky pad of lead hand pressure pushing down okay. to make sure that the butt end doesn't go too far to slide to where the <laughs> point where the gear effect is going to be too late. You know, got it, right? So people need to really understand that when you get that proper notch there and the lead thumbs on the top trail side of the club, and you load it back. People need to understand how that lead thumb unloads. That's right. That's a very important thing, and we're going to talk about that in the archive video. So, so when people have a lobster claw mm -hmm. um, and they have no pinch there, and the thumb down the club a little bit, yeah, is that for one, they they don't have that like spring effect, right? So then, yeah. that typically causes them to go weaker grip. Then they have to bow. And then now to create the same effect. That's right. Well, what, is what is effect, it? What is it? What is it? It's more body rotation. That's right. And, and it's then like, it's no. like, what are you doing? Well, I'll say this. Okay. Making it harder. For the majority of people out there trying to learn <laughs> golf and get better. Yeah. Like if you're not already like breaking like 80, I mean, I would say it's not, it's not about that. No. Get a, get, if people are telling you bow and stuff, like it's not no. easy. Like if you're learning the game, go strong. If you're. Just trying to improve a game. Go, go strong. strong. If you want to hit the ball further, <laughs> go easier. Strong. Go strong. Like we're just go advocating strong. that. Dimples and that's is like it. a cheerleader. That's like, right. Go oh, strong. totally, go totally, strong. totally. And if and if you come out there with that weak grip, he's gonna be like, yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't but, know about that. <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah. So yeah, we don't. I mean, <laughs> we consult your doctor if you're gonna go to a weak grip because uh, yeah, we're not huge fans of that because. You're just making it becomes golf complicated. Harder it's than like it you're coming in be. with like multiple problems because your unit is not as functional. That's right. So then you have to do all these manipulations that the functional unit actually well, creates. And we, I mean, over the years, um, from a golf coach, I have seen a lot of problems. I still have a current students I teach, yeah. and they're still like, I mean, like having problems where if they don't support the proper gear effect, you know, with the lead arm, uh -huh. their lead shoulder and lead hip get really like messed up and around and where well point where they can't even walk <laughs> like within like two or three well, days, like barely. Yeah, it's like your body's having it's to do horrible. So They're taking much that more. torque right improperly. Right. And it's very important that we allow the club, if you're gonna create the proper amount of speed that you want, yes, and maximize it like efficiently and effectively, yes, then we have to make sure it's riding the 45. It all comes down to a simple like geometric science in yes. a sense, but it's not complicated like no, shampoo, maybe. It's so but like easy. we'll just say that it we're yeah, we're breaking down to like what the hands do, what the club does, and it, it's, it's a language. simple. It's simple. It's and the, where the forty five is, yeah. Yes. Connect to your car to the <laughs> yes. roadmap, ride the plane, boom. I love we, the car now, Jay. That it, is like it. it's such a simple way for people to think about it. Like, yeah. That's really what we're trying to get people to do. Like you've heard our mission. Like we're trying to get people to fall in love with the stupid that's crazy right. game. That's right. <laughs> and enjoy it a Here's little bit. Here's the first more. step we're trying to get um, you to. But the yeah. first step is just getting the proper connection to the club. Right. Um and the big things that we're seeing, and it's cool that we're starting to see some of these companies uh, like Super Speed. They just came out with the Squeeze, mm -hmm. um, and it's a really cool tool if you yeah, know how to use it yeah. properly. Um, and really, the whole use the of grip. it is really that. I mean, it's a bigger grip that yeah. kind of goes over your existing grip. Yeah. Um, but the the cool thing is, is that it gives you something to like take your claws and push against, right? So it's really like the concentrated squeeze. <laughs> it's like it's how we'll say this. It's more um, well, they prove that basically um, higher grip pressure equates to higher club head speed. Got it. And that was their test. Yeah. And they proved that. And, and so and it so, makes sense though. I, I agree. So with what that. do we mean by that though? Like so we it's have like, to be very like right. It's but it's concentrated. Bingo. That's what we're about yes. is the concentrated pressure. Because you have to be concentrated. Because yeah, yeah. It's if, if you just squeeze throughout and you don't understand how to utilize it and where it's moving, then just squeezing tight doesn't it's necessarily tough. work. Yeah. 100%, right. right. Doesn't right. it's not as effective. Like you will see increases. Some, like, yeah, you will see yeah. increases in speed because you will be more kind of locked. You'll you'll have a more functional unit. Uh -huh. It just won't be as functional if you're concentrating the pressure. Nice. And but concentrating the pressure on the 45. <laughs> yes. That's where we get also a Sideways. few other benefits. <laughs> and we're gonna be launching those in the archive videos. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, which which we'll just say that also comes from when we get out of the chair, how we take this outdoors or, you know. Yeah, I can't wait. To the course we're, we got like a little tease of spring the last like couple of days with like 50 yeah, degree weather we're here in close Michigan. To but being we're able to start there. getting some more on course content. Yeah, we got to get our um, 
Yeah, we just got to get outside and show some of the stuff going on. We've done Absolutely. a couple like things with uh, course vlogs and stuff, but I want to really just show this in action. Like, For this sure. is how we do it. Um, but yeah, the big thing is, is that like you said earlier, when we were talking downstairs is that you're trying to take your trail hand and your lead hand mm-hmm. and link them together on this like sideways angle. And you're basically trying to just like mold them to, to like together. It just so happens that there's a cylinder in between that like molding yeah. process, it's right? Like in between <laughs> basically like this and this. Right. Yeah. Just like that. It's almost like your knuckle pads are like trying to, it's like, it's like, there's your takeaway. You're like trying to get your knuckle pads to like touch, but there's a, like a cylinder in the way, but you're trying to like push through that cylinder basically with your pads while keeping your fingers like extended. Yeah. That's like a cool way to think about it. That's why I like to squeeze. Because well, it's like something it's, like it's, to well, really con- push the, against. The, the, to be honest, the most concentrated pressure that we're talking about yeah. in that way uh-huh. is like the hidden secret. Yes, like, 100%. You know, yeah. Ben Hogan's probably rolling over a little bit. He's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> He's like, like yeah, they're it's like, doing cool, it. Cool, cool, finally. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> uh, but then we figured this out when we were yeah. doing this. I mean, that's this right. Thing with yeah, all, exactly. With all these sensors and stuff. I mean, right. you've seen us do these demos, but these are just consistent, like, um, pressure strips and if you push against them in a certain way then you're gonna get the blinking light and like i'm saying we're not i'm not squeezing this with like my fingers i'm just pushing i'm concentrating how i'm pushing against it the club head is still mobile relative to the handle we'll say that it's not like you're sitting there going robot right right and that's that's the big key right is that when when you're grabbing the club tighter and you're looking at all this data and people are like oh cool i just like grab the club tighter it's like yeah but in a certain way. So real quick, right? real quick. All right. I want to throw something in there. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm going to keep this club, though, and I'm just going to throw this into the putting thing, throw it back. Back to putting? So, yeah, when okay, we think cool. about, like, Let's the weaker it. grip. Grab your putter grip. Okay. Shout out Superstore Grips. So when we think about, if we have the um, the arms, like, straight away, so we have, like, finger extension like this, So right? one quick question. Yeah. How are you concentrating the pressure with putting? Against the you're sides of the, the handles. Okay. Or on the side of the handle. With like the bottom two fingers up to my palm. So when we say palm, it's right here. Palm. You have the top two fingers and the thumb are okay. are like a section. Those are three and one. Okay. Nice. Okay. The bottom two are another one. Okay. Like this. Got it. So it's like when you think of putting, it lays basically right here. Mm. And then you wrap your your fingers like this. Interesting. I so like each that. V of each hand for putting goes to each shoulder. So lead hand V goes to lead shoulder. Trail hand V goes trail shoulder. Mm. I like the double overlap with the trail hand over my lead hand, like so. So it'd be like, here's the, the lead wrist from your standpoint, looking veer wise. And then like this. So your thumbs are pretty close to each other. Oh, your I, thumbs I, are pretty extended. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I like this, but I have my pinches though. So it's not like I'm lobster clawing it no. like this. I still have my pinches with both because I'm still con. I, I could literally putt like this without your fingers matter. even on the club. But, but real quick, okay. So we have the locked elbows out of way like this. We go 45 degrees down with the ulnar and allow the elbows to retract, but keep the inner pressure like this. Mm. Now, if we think about that, with the lead arm as a pivot point, the lead elbow and trouble elbow technically are going to stay connected to my core when I go back to properly control how the club face should be stable with the. D loft in the added loft in the backswing and follow through. That'll be coming oh, in the uh, like archive that. videos. Like That's that. like a little like tidbit into that. Yeah. Okay. But when we go to the actual swing itself, instead of the lead arm being slightly bent like this, because that's not what its purpose technically is serve as. Because like, that doesn't right, create any speed. Again, even if you lock <laughs> it and you go a weak grip and bow, okay, <laughs> it's fine. But the idea is that we get that strong grip and then we lock it. So the the lead arm now serves as a post for a pivot point for rotation. Mm. In putting, we go bent with both. They stay connected to control, a, in a sense, like the most perfect straight back or minimal uh, amount of like deviance of like the in, face. in to out, angle, yeah, yeah. path, face, got relationship, okay. right? Again, just more loft and de-loft. Anyway, so I got you. again, back so to... So basically what you're saying is so, that... So now the trail arm and hand are yes, going to work around the, the lead yep. hand arm exactly. as like the functional unit. And that's how we get the proper lever, lag, and release of the club head 
relative to the handle throughout the golf swing, meaning we can lever the club back on the 45, lag it on the 45, and release it on the 45. And yeah, down like, the line. Down the line. Yeah. In a sense, on the 45, <laughs> right. which on a 45 degree angle to the right of your target, and right. like intended target, uh -huh. equates to the ball technically starting about half that like amount of degrees to the right of the target, and it'll yeah. come back to the target literally perfect. Yeah. It's do like the that, perfect do equation. Do you have that disc? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. So this is what, when we talk about 45, this is just like a little cool thing that we made. But if you're looking at it like this, this would be perfectly vertical. That's 45 degrees right there. So that's kind of what we imagine when we're right. sitting in our chair is that this is the angle the club is going on. It's going around you here, back to the ball here, and then around you. So when Jonathan says releasing on the 45, he basically means that it's releasing like to over here on this imagine, angle. Imagine. Down the line. <laughs> and if you look at our zones, I know it's hard for the viewers to probably see. We'll have to yeah. paint that yeah, the to highlight zones. them. But it's cool how it breaks the whole swing down. We have five zones yep. that we've come up with. And yeah, that's how we mapped sense. out when we when we did all of our testing yeah. for our with where the club grip and everything. Like the handle needs to be, club head needs to be, claws need to be, oh, yeah. what they're doing. Yep, yep, yep. How things, um, yep. Yeah. And then we're going to add data. We already yeah. have the cut already yeah, going yeah, too. Right. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. We got, we got a lot of stuff we got cooking. It's exciting stuff, um, guys. It is super exciting because it's going to help everybody so much. And really, like, our big thing is we're just trying to get people better, faster. Understanding the pressure, <laughs> concentrated pressure yes. against the handle will change your life. And again, when we see most golfers, it's like if both hands are failing, then your golf, Ugh. you know, your game's gonna fail, right? Yeah. It's it's just like destined. Then you get a but, failing grade with your exactly. Functional but unit. if like <laughs> if you, if your lead hand's shaky and then your trail hand's gray, it's like okay, you're like decent. Jordan Spieth. But it, it's like yeah, so it's like just get the trail hand perfect, get the lead hand perfect right. as much as you can. Let's get better. But it all comes from the start. You're not going to see somebody start off with lobster claws and then miraculously you see like their grip mold in their swing no. to perfect. Like okay, if that happens, good luck with that. Like, but anyway, that'd actually be point a really is, cool like test. That would be crazy. To see, like, but no, start no with one the worst can do that. No one can do that. They, and then in swing, create the best grip. That would actually be that, wild. The, 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 <laughs> Just imagine that. Yeah. The variables that would it would come to would temperature and grip type like would be nuts Oof. with how much the hands would change. But point is, is that. <laughs> We just have to get. I almost want to try it. I'm gonna, Here's the thing, though, I'm is that we're to. just seeing a fail mainly at the setup. Like, so if you see, good. we want people. Like, if you go to a golf course or a driving range and you see people that are doing what we're talking about, we want you to look at them and be like, "Oh wow, that's somebody's found claw." Yeah. Like, look at them. They're doing everything by he's, like their he's, process he's or their qualified. archive videos. He's, he's qualified. qualified. <laughs> I bet he has a compact club at home too. He better. And that's he better. Yeah. yeah. That's like your token, by the way, with our you know thing. Like, oh yeah. To get into our, our whole yeah. main thing. And then again, there's so much coming with it though, which is so exciting too. It's like it's just the base, and then if you have this yeah. club, I mean, it's you have such an advantage over everybody else in our system. It's like we're not hoping even funny. that we're gonna be changing a lot of um you know golf seasons this year and really helping you well, we're achieve your goal. Goals, you know, gonna, if you got some goals that are uh, relatively short form and like you don't think that they're possibly achievable, maybe we can fix you so quickly. Just think about it, especially like, if like with punting stuff too in uh, short game. When I'm we get so outdoors. excited because like I mean, we used to teach so many lessons, like right, we 2,500 lessons a year, and we've been through like the lesson process. But now with how like simple we have this, yeah, just think like oh my gosh, people are gonna we're get better attacking so much in faster. every way possible from here to like the and the first thing I'm excited about is the short game. Some of my best <laughs> lessons I ever taught, like I always, when I went outdoors with students, I'd spend the, like an hour lesson and the first half hour would always be short game. And yeah. we would work on the shortest chip shots and right. like deep rough, perfect, you know, tight lies, get the move perfect, make sure the claws are perfect, right. make sure the club's doing perfect. We're thumping the ground properly, like the ball's going where it needs to. If you can like basically get it within like three or four feet you know, on yeah. three or four, then we can move on to like longer. And then we go to the range, maybe but by the time you move there, once the claws are warmed up, they're ready. then they're ready. And all it takes incremental, very gradual movement to the top. Keep everything at pace. No effort, really. And no then effort. it's just, it's just like, let when they say, let the power. club do the work, the yes. claws are the key to that statement. But to be honest with you, 
It is crazy when they say that statement because everyone's kind of had <laughs> it. Or not, I cook. shouldn't say everyone, but most golfers have had those periods where you're like, I feel that, I feel that. But maybe you didn't know no. that you were actually doing some of this more, but like the pinches maybe would have been maybe. better. The claws got better. Maybe you're using, it like, was using the grip unit. better at some point, yeah. locking the arms. Yeah. Like who knows what it was. But Which maybe, is why I like when the grip pressure gets a little bit firmer because then you have a little bit better locked but, elbows. But the tees of the golf swing sometimes like that can literally drive a golfer to insanity. It can. It can. It like really literally. Can. It's like that BMW commercial <laughs> when they get done with their round. Right. It's like same time next week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he throws yeah, yeah. his gloves in. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. I'm excited um, for. Yeah, we got that Netflix documentary launching next yeah, week. Yeah, super which excited I'm super about excited that. for because yeah. that's going to be really awesome. Just to see, like, we're going to be able to see kind of behind the scenes, maybe what tour players are working on. That'd be kind of cool if they show sure. at the range, like what they're working on in their swing. I hope there's some of that. I doubt it because. I don't know. It's not. Oh, like they're. As I think riveting. they're going to do some. Oh yeah, yeah they're going so? to. They're going to want to tap into the emotional side. Oh, that's the whole point. The of grinding, things. working, and I think what game. we're going to see is with yeah. what we've been breaking down. Um, I think we can the come claws. up with a the, yeah. <laughs> Dimples can be like, <laughs> if you can talk to him, it'd be like, guys, it's like, yeah, like I could tweak that just a little bit. Yeah, you know. But you know what I think just is going to be bit. hopefully like the key is that they're going to show the incremental like changes and how subtle they are. Yeah, and why maybe a little right. bit more because that's the one thing that like. They don't really ever give out yeah. is the actual like kind of secrets. Correct. We're unlocking them technically, we are. but it's just more of like, yeah. you got to like understand them though. Correct. That's the biggest thing. Right. Yeah. right. To kind of transition into uh, hot takes a little bit here, just because I want to talk about this and this kind of pertains to grip pressure and it's kind of all over the place with the podcast, but I really just wanted to talk about hold the club like you're holding a baby bird. It's one of the most common things when people think about grip pressure or like, Grab the tube of toothpaste and barely let it squeeze out. Right, right. But it's like, oh gosh, like nobody, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of how these are like um, really demonstrated and talked about. So let's talk about, I think there's a better way for people to understand the baby bird analogy. So can you like walk us through that a little bit more? I like what you said earlier downstairs of like, the caressing it like right here next to you opposed to like so, having the arms extended I'm, I'm going to use the disc as the um, idea because I'm going to use a parrot idea um, as an example. But oh, the idea is God. this is pedestal, okay? <laughs> but when people think of a baby bird, they kind of think like, oh, you know, like gentle arms, you know, everything. It's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, so I'm, I'm going to use Toucan Sam, right? Oh, God. It's it, like okay. he's got a big beak and he, you know, I'm pecking the face because he's kind of violent. You got to oh, keep him oh, out geez. here. So it's like push him away. So it's like he's on this like little pedestal. So he's out here like this. So it's like, like I'm keeping my fingertips, you know, pushed away like that. And it's like as I go back in the swing, like I'm trying to keep him pushed rotate him back a little bit and it was funny i told like, Ethan, him he's got a little, a little bit of food over here, here on the, like the 45 it's yeah. like all right you can get like a little like you know a little right little. and but, then like and then, but, and then as he comes down it's like you're gonna maintain him back yeah and then he wants some water at post impact back to parallel so <laughs> you're just gonna like let him go so i'm not gonna go like this because his beak's still sent back he's like where's the, like, where's the i can't water? get back to the water <laughs> right. like i'm stuck back here it's like no nah, just a little Come dip on, and then sail. we're going back up yeah but it's like but, but, now, but keeping this distance away from that's the me, key like that's the key when they're thinking about the baby bird thing is that they're trying to keep it like close to them and it's like it's okay baby bird like i'm not squeezing you too tight um, and it's, yeah, it's two can this, Sam, two this can is Sam would like, be I guess, again, up. so back to, yeah, the basics is just, it's this. Yes, got it. I'm got it. I have a car, okay, and the wheel should not be moving, like, it goes, like, laterally this way. Yes. And then it rotates like this, but in your, like, seat, <laughs> in your chair, it's just basically just trying to get this, just, like, elongate that a little bit on the road. Oh. There's your pre to post impact, but you can't and do that if it's really close to you because if I'm you, if I'm in here like this, it's like with the elbows, you can do it, but it's not it's effective not effective pressure to the handle, to the club head, to mm, the plane, to the ball. Got Dimples it. is sitting there going, he's not happy. Yeah, nope. yeah. Two can Sam's pecking Get out at of your, here. <laughs> two can Sam's pecking two can, at your head. Yeah, you're literally getting pecked <laughs> in the face. Like, to me. yeah, oh, it's like yeah. what is going on here? It's like get it's out like, of here. Get I'm trying here. to like, hold. It's like I'm trying to hold the baby bird, again, but. Just let him nibble on the, on the 45 yeah. back. Let him eat over on. here and then give him some water, yeah, give over, some there. water over there. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um, I like that a lot. Yeah, because so many people, they're 
either going to like, oh, yeah, I just don't want to hold the paper too tight. And they're already not pushing against the club to begin with properly. Because this is it. This is the key. So now take elbows. your disc and replace it with your compact yeah. club and show people how you're actually pushing against the grip now with so that same like sensation. Lock, yeah. So it's like lead hand like this, get my claw. Pinky so it's pad. Like, it's like going straight into the camera, yeah, so it's basically. Like I, could, I could take my fingers and just go like this and don't even have to have my thumb on it. Got it. I'm pinched. I'm curled, yeah, yeah, right? Right. And then you get that claw so it's like i'll do that one time like so it's like that yeah i like it and then trail hand like we said get the rotation the extension trail palm lead thumb the pinch perfect so that's like our cage for our baby bird toucan sam's got a cage around him right yeah. now but because of how you're pushing so, like we said at the beginning you're trying to get that palm as stretched away from you as possible right. as your fingers are flexing back away from you like that rubber band analogy that is the lead side of your cage that's the trail you side know, of your cage <laughs> now connect them and toucan sam's got his so nice I got a same move i'm telling you if i'm sitting here in my chair right now and yeah. if you want to have the full understanding of the benefits of this compact club yeah just imagine that i've got like basically like a laser beam shooting out of like my knuckle pads here and i'm trying <laughs> to get those beams to shoot like through this grip straight out away from me okay the more that I start going in here like this, now those laser beams are going to be shooting over here, over here, bad things. We want those to be concentrated with how they're pushing away from you with the lead and that trail hand. Now, once you can kind of feel that stretch, feel that stretch of those pads away from your body and then just maintain that. Give him his food here. Give him his yeah, water here. Exactly. And you're good. Like it doesn't have to be more complicated no, than no, that. No, no, no injuries. Yeah, but again, people just aren't really talking about enough with the finger extension. Yeah. Like our big thing is... These are basic things. Yeah, just right. like if you got your hands straight out of the way, you're just trying to extend your fingers away, extend yeah. your thumb away, and then now just take those Get pads the rotation and push, right and, boom. Right. and then rotate, do everything you're trying to do. But if you don't have the claws, now you're trying to create all these effects that all these great players have. You're just trying to create them in swing without understanding that they're actually more the effect of pushing against the handle properly, and that's what the claws are unlocking. Most common drill you see with tour players is the, the preset, preset and the takeaway. So they'll get the grip right. Well, I'm just going to do it for a strong grip. Mm. But they would go to here, and let's just say the butt end would be approximately five inches outside trail leg, like we talk about in our circle. Okay? So what are they feeling here? So they're pushing. They're pu keeping the pointing down, like we talk about from the, you know, we get the, like, the push. Just push the club vertical. Push them with the palms, but their fingers are like off the club almost at this point. Like they're not they're, using it's the their... finger extension yes. feeling like this. Bingo. That's right. the key. But when they uh -huh. set the club at the takeaway, mm -hmm. they're making sure handle and club head are in proper alignment. Mm. Proper alignment also from um like hip high mm. to like knee high. So just below hip high when parallel to the ground. Pushing down. And again at the circle, like we said, like five inches outside trail leg. And once they get there, it's like, okay, if they get that right and the hands are in proper unity and the club is in proper unity, mm. they have, like, the main checkpoint to be able to get back to try. Like, they're trying to basically get back to there at pre-impact so that then they can arrive at post-impact properly. So they're getting oh. the proper lever, lag, and release all in one. Like, and I've heard tour players say, like, if I could do that in a tournament and just go there, stop. And just sit there and then keep going, like, and just play like that. I would play better. Yeah. Ian Polder said this. And they were like, well, why don't you do it? And he's like, well, I don't want to be the guy that's, like, you know, breaking the swing down. But honestly, who it's, cares if who you hit cares, it better? Man. Like, And then everyone's going to want to do it. It's like the best like, drill. Every it's, time I do that great. drill, it's like, because. It doesn't fail. No. Like, you're guaranteeing or giving yourself a better chance to, like execute what actually matters <laughs> yes. like with the outcome yeah you're like opposed you're to worrying about like what you look like you're telling your pads like hey knuckle pads you're gonna push to right, right here get the club to here yes now How do we do that from there your knuckle pads are pushing to there well guess what now the handle and the club are right there as an effect that's kind of the secret <laughs> now just push back down trail arm goes from bent to straight good nice little forward shaft lean and then let it release let the club pass the handle it's just like hidden it, in plain sight. Like I don't so know how much more. <laughs> like, it's but nobody's like, getting it with the shorter kind the of club thing because that's the idea. Yeah, this we're is sitting so here easy. swinging drivers in our chairs. Yeah, well, our camera would be back further, but also you guys would just have yeah, a would much harder to, time yeah. to understand it. And also, again, the the speed that everything is also like most golfers have never actually sat down <laughs> and swung the golf club like in slow motion, going like. 
tick, 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 because they don't know how to do it for one. But, Correct. but even if they did, it's like, they've never really broken it down in every little thing. And just like, it makes way more sense when you start slow and then, and like, yeah. then you really start to realize what's going on. Train your functional and then unit like, right here and then just get into your golf setup. Exactly. Bend forward, keep your same kind of position here. Right. Hands down to the waist point down you're ready to go your functional unit is like in its home position boom 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 oh, boom and then boom, boom. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then we're ready now just That's right push and twist increase push, pull, incrementally then, increase boom. what we started with with the activation points that yes. we just you know and then that's it of how that's we we're gonna the walk people through. yeah that's, gosh. It. that's, it. that's it yeah making your life a lot easier oh um, man yeah can't tell you but, yeah I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. excited. And we're just going to keep releasing more content. Um, I'm excited about the grip pressure stuff more as we keep going. I'm yeah. excited companies are starting to do more stuff around For the sure. hands. We just need to, we kind of have a head start with everything that we've collected with data wise with our smart grip. And yeah. we're just going to kind of um, help everybody to the top of the mountain with us because this is going to take over the we're world. We're trying to of help golf people get better at golf. Yeah. And by neglecting the hands and arms, we're doing a disservice to the industry. And that's why we're being so loud. That's why we're creating these compact clubs. That's why we're doing the archive videos, all the stuff that we're doing, all these crazy training aids we're trying to come up with to make it easier for you guys on the other end, everybody watching. That's right. Um, yeah, thank you for all the support we've been getting. Yeah, I mean, we definitely. say it every episode, but it's just crazy. Like, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't it's know, it's good. really, it's, 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 it's humbling. It's, um, it's appreciative. I mean, it's, we, we we do this because we care about a lot of people and we want right. to help people as much as we can and to see all of the support we've been getting. And if somebody like posts a negative comment in the comments on our social media, somebody will like come back and like say yeah. a positive, like, no, these guys are trying to help. Right, so right, right. That, that was cool to see. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's awesome. <laughs> it's just good that people are like understanding and benefiting already from what we're saying. Yeah, it is. And that's really positive and because we're now we're going to be, now we're ready to launch the terrain aids and everything. Yes. So, I mean, we are ready to really like launch. And I know it's been like longer coming than what we were okay. kind of saying, but it just takes a while when you're doing it on your own kind of yeah. thing in a sense. But it's tough. Uh, but but it's, we have it, like a lot coming forth. Like, too. and honestly, a year from now, guys, like it's when we do our crazy. podcast, it's going to be a whole nother, whole game. nother level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I appreciate you yep. watching. Go pick up your compact club on Valentine's Day. Uh, show your swing some love. This is right. who deserves attention. Get ready this year. <laughs> Valentine's right. Day. 2023. Um, yeah, get your get your connection to your club. Get your hand-to-handle-to-club relationship. Yeah.